take a look at this sample table. It doesn't really exist. I've just put it in here so it exists in your mind. Now, here's the sample table. I've got two columns in it. Class code. They're a freshman. I've got their grade point. It's a zero. Now, look at the query. I'm going to select the class code and then the grade point divided by the grade point times two from my sample table. What do you think is going to happen and what will the results be from this query? The syntax was fine here, but we're going to have a divide by zero error because that grade point was zero. And that's what interrogating the data is all about. Now, I've always told you after the word select are things on your report. Most of the time we're used to seeing columns there, but sometimes we're going to need to massage the data, interrogate the data, make alterations right there, and that's where we'll have those parens and we'll give commands, and you'll see that next on how to massage that data so we get rid of this divide by zero problem. The first thing I want you to see is the null if zero command. As you can see here, we're going to select the class code and then we're going to say I want the grade point divided by open paren null if zero that grade point, which is going to take the grade point. If it's not zero, then it's not going to do anything to alter the data. But if it is zero, it will make it null and then we will no longer have the division by zero error. Let's see how that null if zero acts on different types of values. Here you can see another sample table in our minds and it's got a customer number that is zero. It's got an account balance that's got a question mark representing a null value and then it's got a location of three. Now in our query we're going to select null of zero, null of zero, null of zero on customer number, account balance, and location. Take a look at this for about 15 seconds and I want you to answer what you think those results are going to be. Let's take a look at this together now. We're going to select null of zero customer number. It is zero. The customer number is zero, so it changes it to a null value. Now, in the second one, where we go for account balance, it's not a zero, so the system's not going to do anything to it. And it was already null, so it returns a null. Now, lastly, we've got a location of three. We're null of zeroing that. It's not a zero. So we're not going to do any changes to it. It was a three. It stays a three. This lesson brought to you by Coughing Data Warehousing. Need a query tool that makes joins easy? The Nexus has a join builder that turns the most complex joins into child's play. The Nexus Query Chameleon, making connections easy again. Visit coughingdw.com for more information. Hi, this is Tom Coffing. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please hit subscribe to make sure you are kept up to date on all our videos.